to start this crazy ass weekend we're on our way to get some lunch and I get my buddy with me today poor Jessica now that she's in school I don't get to see her much all she's doing is running and studying and makes me feel a little less important now tear <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go get some lunch and uh, we'll go from there. Finished up our lunch here at Quaker Steak and Lou, and I saw this sitting across the parking lot. And I kind of feel sad. Look at that. Man, that poor car. You can see where they had it hanging. And then here's the back hole. And that's where she hung. So sad. That's out of the Corvette room. Oh well, we're done here at Quaker Steak and Lube and heading back towards home so I can get some work done. We are back at the garage and we got a heck of a weekend going on. It's actually Labor Day weekend, so I have three and a half days off. I actually had to work this morning, but I only had to work for three hours and I'm free. So, my plans. Follow along with me. Finish the rocker panels on this truck. You can see that I've exposed more rot. And I have to see how far this goes. But we'll get it fixed. That's not a huge deal. Not to me at least. So number one, Jeremy's truck. Number two. We're going to needle this. So we're going to take our needle gun. And we're going to knock all the scale off. This is going to get painted because bed is coming back soon. Um, number three, I need to get the motorcycle out and I need to get it polished up for tomorrow. Number four, I'm hoping that I can get this panel the rest of the way in, get the trunk closer in, get the latch back on it, and get this thing started on its road to bodywork because we're... We're down to slim pickings. So, tons of work to do. But first, I'm going to get a ton of prep work done on Jeremy's truck because, I mean, let's be honest. For you guys watching, prep work is the most boring, monotonous garbage. So, I'm going to have to get... Um, I'll get everything put together. I'm going to get the rust cut out. See how far it goes. I actually have... The inner repair panel's already cut. You can see. So I have those all cut. They're ready to go in as soon as I make sure all the rod is taken care of. Because why well, go through all this and then leave rust in there? So that's my job. That's my plan is to get everything laid out and everything ready to go. And then polish bike and work on turbo. Stay tuned. I'm not sure what. I'm not sure which way we're going to go with it. We may start on turbo. I don't know yet. Um, it's actually hot, surprisingly. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. Which is of that right there. And then there's another little piece right here. Could we have just ground and filled that? Probably. Are we going to? No. We're going to cut a piece out like this. And we're going to round out the edge, make it usable. And then we're just going to weld it in here. And then we'll make one like this. Replace all of that garbage. And then we'll have all new metal there curvature, rebuild this, and then I'll have to make an inner plate, create that. Alright, so we got 
New piece here. New piece here. Um, number one on this, we'll have to put the first curve on it, and then we'll have to stretch for this curve. So, step at a time. First, we're going to roll this edge over. To do that, first we're going to file off all this garbage. Then we're going to use this steel. That looks like it will be right around the right curve. So this is where I was saying like you don't have to use all these high-end expensive tools. I mean sometimes a bar will do you well. I'm going to grind this down to get the rust off of it so it's nice and smooth. And then that's what we're going to use to make that roll. fit somehow somewhere in here okay so I do have to do a little trimming overall that's actually not bad all right this is the ugliest it's going to look I'm gonna grind this down get this smooth you don't want to go too far and weaken the metal so I'm just gonna give her Enough that she's smooth, and then we're going to make our inner piece that's going to go from here and into this rocker. So that'll be next. But once I have this figured out, then I can go ahead and pull these rockers and start planning for the news. In the meantime, I'm going to make this look a little prettier because. They're calling for rain. Not positive if we're gonna get it, but I wanna be able to shut some quick primer at it if I have to. All right, inner structure, good. That's nice and solid now. Um, there's a couple of pin holes I gotta weld next time I get the welder out. But next up, it's time to Figure out my bottom bend here and bring it in. All right, you can see that um, we had to connect up to the inner structure of the cab, so you'll see the welds on the inside. This is nice and solid. And then I went through and I drilled top spot welds, and the bottom will be spot spot. But I can't use my spot water on the top because to try and get in here, I'm afraid I'm going to burn the carpet. So I'm going to put metal here to protect the interior. And I'm just going to do rosette welds on it. But um, we can get this and that in. So those will be new. And then I just have to rebuild this corner here, which isn't too big of a deal. Now once we have this side done, then we can look at the other side. But that's how I'm rebuilding the inner structure. And it should work great for what we need.
is done as best I can do it right now. I got rockers on, inners and outers. These are nice and solid. And I started rebuilding in here. Um, this is custom made rocker. And you see I have to do a little finish panels inside while I have to pull this door off. So when I have a full day that I can pull this door off and not worry about it raining, this door will come off, I'll finish that corner, we'll be good to go. We do have the other side to do, so I'm probably going to move all of my stuff over to that side and see if I can get at least these in and maybe start building the corner on that side. But we'll see what happens. Let me get everything moved over to the other side and we'll go from there. What we got, I got this side put together, all except for finishing the back of it. So these are all in, all replaced, all the inner is redone. You can see I'm working on this now, which I still have to do a couple little finish pieces. Then we'll grind this all down and finish this all out so it actually is smooth and it'll look like one piece. So that's that side done. If we come over to the driver's side, you'll see I got steel cut out of it. And I have to start pulling this apart, seeing where the rust is ending so I have good solid metal to cut or to weld to. You can see I'm going to have to rebuild this inner structure. But slowly but surely, we're coming along. And uh, once I get these inner panels in, which there's one right there, once I get the inners in, then the overs just lay over, we spot weld the bottom, we plug weld the top, and then rebuild that cab corner. And we're coming down to short list, because aside from those cab corners, which I have to finish that one, it's stupid stuff like fixing little pieces in the wheel wells, fixing a little rust on the top of the bed where it chipped off. For the most part, it's coming along good. Um, Maxwell was being nice and helped me out and uh, he's taking care of the bike for me. So it'll be nice and shiny for tomorrow's trip. We are heading up to Mentor and the plan is that Matt and I are going up together along with Cindy and we're going to enjoy a day in Mentor and then I'll come back and probably do more work on that thing. In the meantime, that's it for today. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until the next time, we'll see you on the flip side. I just want to admire for a minute how amazing of a job Maxwell did. I'm not even done yet. That's... This kid, if I could say he's got one talent, it's detail. Look at that. We're going to be styling like crazy tomorrow. You're done good. <laughs>
starting route.